Alright, ignore the skip of music you probably just heard. Probably should have done it while my eyes were closed, but oh well. My bag's on the floor, my school book's on the desk. My numerous medications on the night table. I stare at the bottles for a moment, deliberating until I open one. Shake out a pill and pop it on the table with a foil sheet. I down them with chaser of water without thinking about the chemistry. My used phones are set in the closet. I sink... I slink out of the under the sheets and stretch my back before dressing up. But I got an interesting feel like dressing in someone else's clothes. The artificial smell... Well, we all know what it's like to put on a uniform, so I'm just gonna skip that a little. So far, this place seems more or less like a normal school, except for the people. I think back t to my talk with Kenji yesterday. Misha's constant laugh and Shizun's sweeping sign language. Well, I've only met three students so far, maybe they aren't that normal, but I'm sure others are. Or perhaps people like them are what passes for normal around here. Ha! <laughs> Kenji normal. Yeah, what does pass for normal around here? What do people do? I didn't see a lot of kids hanging around after class yesterday, so maybe there are clubs. If so, I... Sh I wonder if I should join one. Man, my throat's starting to feel funny. <sighs> Although class, the questions remain on my mind, so I decide to actually zoom about it when that we split into groups. <sighs> After all, she did say if I had anything I wanted to know, I should ask her. Da 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 da. She crosses her arms and shifts her gaze slowly to Misha, who <laughs> who looks more preoccupied, trying to grind the eraser of a pencil down so that the top is perfect and eventually flat. Da da da. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Shichen. Is there something you wanted from me? Oh, I see. That's a good question, Shichen. My first thought is that means she doesn't know, which is worrying. Maybe I'm being too negative. Well, anyway, Misha doesn't didn't prove me right. Da da da. Ah, oh, that's right. Everyone is encouraged and enjoy the room. A lot of people do so because there isn't really anything else to do. There are also school events, like the festival coming up in a few days. Almost every student in the school tends to help out with it, doing whatever. So actually, transfer it at a very busy time. Maybe you can help out too. Sure. What's the festival about? She freezes. I don't know. The truth is, it's a local event and I'm not from the area, this area, so... Sign away. She starts signing desperately to Zizhun, asking to bail her out. Shijun objects her glasses, adjusts her glasses. At the end of the oddly grandiose flourish and starts signing hard and heavy. Ha! <laughs> oh. Oh! Huh? Who cares? Maybe she puts out a chest that she shouts Shizun's word at, <laughs> at me with a disproportionate amount of pride. Too loud, I can see. Heads turning to look in our direction. Not so loud. Da da da. Human beings evolve with each new generation. The ideas and beliefs behind a festival will eventually change with time. Da da da. Exclamation point. Now it's about delicious food and the amusing little games that you play to win prizes. Ha <laughs> ha. The teacher cleans his clears his throat very loud, batting his long wooden pointer against his other palm with like a bat. He shoots a pointed gains at us. Finally noticing where we are, Misha stri st stifles a yelp. <laughs> Quickly looking down, Shizun doesn't seem embarrassed at all, though brushing off, brushing it off without a care. Da da da. We are middle of class. We should start working. That's right, Shichen. What? That's right. What? Are you acting because you're interested in joining a club? It could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I think I saw a suspicious glance exchanged between them. Misha's tone has also changed, although it does that every other word anyway. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Misha, Misha and Shazun look at each other once again. I'm about to ask what they have in mind when something dark flutters in my peripheral vision catching my attention. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the girl with long dark hair get up from her desk and slip silently towards the door. Doesn't seem like she was working in any group, and no one seems to notice her but me. I glance at the teacher, who's also looking 
Wait, did he notice or not? Also looking who was... yeah. Why didn't he say anything? The chair did something wrong. Uh, or was Misha just looking at me, looking after the girl? No, nothing. Da da da. Okay, well, looks like we were asking. You don't have any plans for lunch today, do you? I thought I would go to the library and pick up. Why was that? As if he was talking. Not really. Do you want to have lunch together then? Sure. Da da da. Oh, waha. -ha. Okay, Hujan, perfect. And here's where the scheming begins. The rest of the classes pass, pass uneventful. The girl with the long hair never comes back. Before I, ha before I have the time to put any more thought into where she could have gone, the teacher informs us that it's time to stop working. Shizun looks a little annoyed that only just barely managed to finish all her work on time. I'm just glad we finished it all. I'm not... I, it's not a contest or anything. Da da da. Yes, it is a gen. Impossible. Really? Really? I've noticed this before, but it's kind of funny how Misha is always moving her hands and signing not only everything she says, but what every what anyone else is saying at the time given about. Obviously, it doesn't. It must be so Shazan understands. Her eyes dart back and forth between Misha's hands and me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking at. I, I'm talking to Misha, but that might be wrong. Maybe I should face Shazoo now. I'm used to looking in the direction of the person whose voice I'm hearing, but really. Shizun can't hear me, but it would be disrespectful to talk to her only through Misha. Then again, it isn't that what I'm doing. No, she doesn't at least look at me. This is very confusing and will take some time to get used to. It's not a contest because contests are competitions over a prize. If there's no prize at the end of the line, it's not really a contest. Shizun's eyes flash dangerously with a competitive glare that stares at me. As if surprised that I'm challenging her, I think maybe this is a contest to her. I've noticed... I've never noticed before how dark and blue her eyes are. It's truly an alluring gaze. Da da da. Are you sure, Hichen? Very sure. Da da da. Haha, ah, you're wrong, Hichen, because I don't want... I don't want to be the slowest one in the class, therefore that... What's on the line? is my confidence in my ability, and the prize is the satisfaction of proving them wrong. Ha ha. Oh man. I don't think I've really ever talked this much while recording. <sighs> she soon pauses her, her glasses, presses her glasses up to the bridge of her nose in a very matter-of-a-fact way. I'd argue more, but the bell rings, and she quickly gets up and picks her bag up, looking at me expectingly. I'd almost forgotten that I was supposed to have lunch with them. Ah! I'm trapped. Da da da. Where do you want to eat? The cafeteria? Haha, <laughs> that's so plain. Okay, let's go. Plain? Well, I guess. At my school, I like to eat outside, near the back of the building. It was a good spot, but I didn't find... didn't find it until near the end of the freshman year. I wonder if there was a similar place to eat here. Misha seems to imply as much. Shizun and Misha pulled me towards the cafeteria, which is surprising, not packed uh, eating classroom or I don't so I saw some of them classmates had boxed lunches. After we finish eating, Misha picks up where I s where we left off earlier. So Hichen, you want to know about clubs and stuff, right? Right? Da da da. Right, Shichen, okay, I guess it makes sense after all. Changing little nods of confirmation that turns to the face again, Misha straightens her posture as if she, she was about to deliver a speech. The Chen, do you have anything you, you're really interested in? I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into it. I don't know, the teams and players are or anything like that. As of late, I usually just read a lot. Yeah, there's a book club, right? Shi Chen? Right, but it seems like they have all the members that they could possibly have right now. Sorry, Shi Chen. It's a really popular club. Oh, okay, but more to the point. Chen, does th this mean that you have anything already in mind? Not really. Da da da. Good, great, mm, that's great. Chen, really great, haha. -ha. I have no idea how long I can keep going with this. My voice is starting to feel weird. Well, not my voice, but my throat. Why, it's so great. Nothing, 
No reason? Well, Huchan, other than clubs and the upcoming festival, there is one other thing. Student Council, and here it begins. I see. I don't know this school had a student council. That was a very melodramatic setup. Though, just to tell me that. I'm pretty sure the two of them know this because Shizun looks a little embarrassed about it and Misha is laughing. <sighs> Shizun quickly retakes control of the discussion in a manner of speaking. After all, it's still Misha who has the voice, whatever she says. Dot dot dot. Haha, <laughs> huh? That's right, right. Chin, maybe you should join the student council. They would use more people. Definitely, yes. You should definitely join. Why? Well, for one, we could hang out every day. Ha Chen and Sh Chen and I both are in the student council. Actually, Sha Chen is the president. Hmm. I'm starting to get the suspicion that Sha Chen, Shizun, and Misha might actually be the most <laughs> might not exactly be the most unbiased people to talk with. <coughs> As if reading my mind, Sha Chen quickly adjusts the glasses and signs something to Misha. Da da da. Of course, we're not trying to get you to join, just because we would obviously benefit from you joining the student council and therefore have an incentive to try and get you to join too. So you're admitting that. Dot dot dot. Uh, no, we admit nothing. I mean, Chen, of course it would be nice if you joined, but we'd appreciate and we'd appreciate email. But even without that, joining the student council shows a high interest in working with one school. Yep, it's true, Hichan. Besides, don't you want to spend time with us after school, Hichan? I can't tell if she's being genuine or if this is really... If this is just really good acting. Both of them seem to be trying hard to look their cutest. Though they're already pretty cute to begin with. I'd have to agree with that. Well? No, no, no. So it's settled then. Why don't you wait, what? Ah, see, Shi Chen, of course it wouldn't be so easy. Dot 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 with a smile. Yep, that's right. Though it would be boring if it went so smoothly. Oh well, Shi Chen owes me a candy now. Wait, what? Oh well, Shi Chen <laughs> owes me candy now. You were betting on it? Hey, my knife is not a game, yeah? Shi Chen seems very intrigued by this when Misha signs it to her and aggressively glints eyes in her eyes. Oh crap. That's interesting, Chen. Let's play a game. That's not what I said. How about rich man, poor man, Chen? If you lose, you don't have to join the student council. Wait, if I lose? If you lose, oh, you absolutely not. Ah, oh, why not? Well, because you two both have the same incentive and therefore the same goal, which is to get me to join the student council, right? Da da da. Yep. Yeah. That isn't my goal, but what it. But what this means is that you both can team up and I'll be on the clearest advantage, so I have to decline. Da da da. Hey Chen, I'm very offended. Are you saying you don't trust us and that you would pull something so disingenuous? Disingenuous. That makes me sad. Sorry? It's hard to tell when Shizun's influence ends and Misha's thoughts begins. Sad face. Da da da. In order to atone for hurting a young girl's feeling, you should definitely join the student council. <laughs> How about a game of paper football instead of rich man, poor man? Paper football? Question mark. Yeah, it's a game they play in America. I don't play it. I have no idea what it is. Clearly, I am not from America. You have a tri you have a paper triangle. You have a paper triangle, and then you you then you try to shoot it past goalposts. That are the other. Play makes with their fingers. Isn't it cool? It's the ultimate form of competition between two people, Hichen. And it's also played by elementary and middle school children. Shichen? Waha. That means it's a game that really separates boys from the men. <laughs> ah, interesting. More like the boys from the slightly older boys. Anyway, it's not going to play that either. Just the fact that you know about it means you're probably surprisingly good at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. How do you know? She soon frowns at Misha, telling me that she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so readily. I wouldn't say that I'm happy with the attempts to get me to the student council, but I'm a little cautious about the student council does here. I've never seen one before, or 
even anyone who has a member, so it interests me. I also kind of like Shizune and Nisha, so maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Dot dot dot. Okay, Hijane, how about risk? Game of world domination. I don't know what that is. Neither have I, I've never really played it. I know of it, but I've never played it. Nor seen anyone play it. It's really fun, Hijane, you fight for control of the world, with armies and everything. It sounds like Shizune would be good at. If you want to play, we can after school. Da da da. Ah, really, Shizune? We can just play fun. Shizune hasn't played it in so long. If you want to, there is no strings attached. Well, okay. Okay, 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 perfect. We'll see you after school in the student council room then. Wait, what? Because that's where we keep the game. Ha 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 ha. Uh, to tell them how much I do not like this, but it's more for a show than anything. So at the end, I agree, but only after getting Shizune to acknowledge that I don't mean anything concrete just by accepting to take a look around and play a game with her. Lunch ends and we go back to class.